I don't know if anybody's there right now. If you what? I think if somebody's actually watching it, it'll actually tell me. No, but it pops up when somebody's watching. So. Alrighty, so we'll uh, we'll start with this. The dog, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm like a dog that has no idea where I'm going. Hey, what's up, Shane and Jesse? All right, so uh, this is, uh, some of you know, um, I've been talking about it for a while. I ordered a custom set of E-Flex 3 uh, pads. So they arrived today. We're going to pull them out one by one, check them out. <clears throat> no. We're going to start with the blocker. So, here we've got the standard CCM uh, bindingless blocker. I went with the, uh, the centered palm, so there's really no customization to it whatsoever. I just picked my colors. Oh my God, this is tight. <laughs> um, the finger protection improvement, like that little orange thing you see right there, that wasn't on the, uh, the previous model, or at least not on what I had, uh, which was the first gen. That seems to be a, a bit of an improvement on the, uh, on the protection. So, I mean, it's really, there's nothing much to say about it other than it's a CCM blocker. Reebok has been making the same blocker since well, probably about 2007 with very, very minor tweaks. This was my previous blocker. Uh, we can see the color inspiration that I used for the uh, pad skins. And um, I wanted to do a weight comparison because a lot of people are constantly saying, you know, uh, stuff is heavy, the CCM stuff is heaviest on the market. There's a lot of talk about the improvement on the weight for the E-Flex 3, so we're just gonna check that out right now. Brought a small scale along. So the first gen blocker was 958 grams. And the third gen is 939, so we're saving about 20 grams. Not much, but it's still there. <clears throat> Next up, we got the glove. I'm just gonna check to see if anybody's watching in the group. Oh, yeah, there is. So for the glove, um, it's the 600 brake. I've been using that for a few years now, so I wanted to stick with it. Oh, that's tight. Um, the only I went with the uh, the single T. Uh, I wasn't too sure I wanted to try the uh, the double T. Uh, everything every time I looked at it, it, while it did look deeper, it looked a little odd. So I stuck with the uh, the single T, uh, right in the middle, no off center. Uh, I'm actually surprised that they put skate lace uh, as the uh, the basket. I was going to make that change myself, but now I guess I don't need to. Uh, I did notice something on the inside though. Um, I don't know if we can see it, but each finger has its own individual pocket. Um, the previous generations didn't have that. It was just one big pocket and you had all your, uh, all your fingers loose in there. So that's going to take a bit of getting used to. It feels really, really tight. Uh, other than that, I went with the, uh, game ready palm. So 
right out of the box closes pretty well. I'm just gonna have to break it in to open it up so that it uh, stays nice and big. It's too bright. She says it's too bright. All right, so for the weight difference, um, here's actually the comparison. E-Flex 1 versus E-Flex 3. E-Flex 1 glove weighed in at 1071 grams. And the new glove weighs in at 1127. So we're actually seeing a heavier glove. I assume this is just because of the beefed up protection in the palm. Hey, Antoine. Lul Kassen Kunk. All right, whatever that means. I think he's wrong. Lunch proof. He's telling you to smile because you're on camera. And now, finally, the interesting part. Oh, we do have a message on the other one, I believe. No, we do not. Thanks for the like, Drew. The pads. Jesus. They're big. They don't fit on the screen. So uh, first things first, um, I didn't do much customization. I went with the open knee with no outer flap. It's the standard tight fit. And stock two calf strap, one calf knee block strap, and the two Velcro straps. The only thing is I asked specifically for no bootstrap, but they still put it on. So I'm gonna have to just remove it and chop this little flap off if I can't get it to stick down. Standard uh, foam Gen Pro bridge. Uh, so for the size, I went with uh, 33 plus 2.5. I was always having issues with uh, which size to get on the stock available shit. Sorry, the, the stock available <laughs> models <laughs> that you can find in stores. Uh, my knee, because I have a, a measurement that fits in 33, was only allowing me to properly feel comfortable in 33 plus one pads. But overall height, I was uh, more comfortable in the 34 plus one. So I decided to do 33 plus two, and then I just added the 0.5 just to get a little bit of extra closure on the five pole. Um, they actually feel really stiff by comparison. The boot's still soft. And then here we can see both of them. Oh, Cass Havoc Narco. All right, that's what it is. All right. So here we have. Which one's? This one's got to go down. They're about the same height. So we can see that little extra inch and a half up top. And this is going to be the big one for the weight. Is everybody going totally the same? They're, uh, they're heavy pads. What? Is it going to work? Yeah, it's going to work. It's good for up to 15 pounds. They're not that heavy. Come on, turn around. There we go. All right, so uh, that's not great. I can't see it. <laughs> All right, so. It's weighing in at just under 2,000 uh, grams, so two kilos. And we gotta keep in mind that this pad is actually um, a little bit longer. Uh, I didn't do the math yet, but I'm gonna guess probably about three to 5% longer with the extra inch and a half. And this one weighs in at 24.82, so just about half a kilo more. Um, there's a little bit more pad up top. I've 
got a bootstrap that I need to remove. So I mean, I don't know how much exactly that's going to change on the weight, but it's, I think, probably about a pound heavier than uh, what was there, what I've been using so far. And that's pretty much it. The last thing I want to show is my second goalie mask. Uh, I did put a video up of me painting it, but didn't actually end up showing the mask real well. So this is the mask that's going to be worn as soon as I start wearing my new CCM gear. Mario Bros. Why why would I be wearing Mario Bros costume? Congrats on the new video. Thanks, Jack. Uh, it wasn't a Mario Bros. custom uh, costume. It was a rabbit, a St. Patrick's Day rabbit costume from Rick and Morty, the uh, the Strawberry Sniggles rabbit. Uh, so that's pretty much it for the unboxing. Anybody have any questions with regard to the gear? What turned me on to the 600 brake over the other brakes? Um, I actually played with the, uh, the Reebok 590 brake previously. Um, wasn't really a fan of it, uh, especially the two-piece cup. Uh, for some, I just it just felt weird. Um, so when I went out and I tried out the uh, the CCM B Flex one set, the the glove actually did feel pretty good out of the box. It was a little bit stiff because it wasn't the uh, the game ready one, but I I personally liked it. And then as I got better, I also learned to play the puck with that one. I tried a 580 and a 590 break, and they just didn't feel right to me. Uh, obviously, they probably would feel better over time if I got to practice with them, but just out of the box, I'd just rather stick with what I currently, uh, what I'm currently used to. John, debut tonight. No, unfortunately, I won't be playing with them tonight. I want to make sure I get in a couple of practices and I can break them in uh, before I use them. And because there's only like two or three games left to the regular season, then it's the playoffs. I don't want to risk anything with, you know, um, not being used to the stuff, if I need to make some adjustments or whatever. Um, I'd, I'd rather be comfortable in my current gear because every point for us is important right now. Yeah, Andrew, we do have, finally have the dog. She's being, She's been a, a bit of a brat and a suck up all day. She won't leave us alone, so decided to let her stick in the, in the video instead of just telling her to go in the hallway. Uh, so I'm actually streaming this live both on my personal Facebook and my um, Goalie Crease Network group. Uh, so the people on my Facebook already know about this, but the people on the Goalie Crease Network group, you guys haven't really seen an update, but my hair is actually getting quite long uh, from when I said I was growing out flow. Unfortunately, I don't have as much as when I was 20, but it's, uh, it's getting pretty long. I have one. I, uh, I keep uh, keep doing this. It's not really a man bun. It's just like a ninja, ninja ponytail. <laughs> and uh, my goalie in my Thursday night team where I play out tells me it's a douchebag haircut. All right. 
so I'm gonna keep this on for like maybe another minute or two and then I'm gonna close the uh, stream. This video is actually going to be put up on my YouTube channel for whoever is interested.